what's up YouTube happy New Year's Eve and happy New Year's to everyone watching this depending on where you are I want to give you guys my top five pickups of the year with two honorable mentions so let's go ahead and check it out so before I get into the top five I want to give you guys some honorable mentions uh, number seven technically is to the Jordan 5 Laney I picked these up for hundred and twenty dollars uh, Canadian can't go wrong at that price worn once uh, could probably pass as dead stock and you know this is a classic shoe one of my favorite Jordan 5 colorways from the royal blue all the way down to the Bart Simpson haircut on the midsole so definitely an honorable mention dope pickup the number six pick honorable mention the Adidas surfs now you guys probably don't know what these are but shout outs to my dad these are from 1970 and you were still a piece of semen in your dad, dad's ball sack when these dropped but uh, shout outs to my dad because uh, he found these at the thrift and he just kind of said you know what they look dope they look old they're made in France and uh, shout outs to my dude Ben he told me that these are probably worth anywhere between 500 and 800 dollars resale so uh, it's crazy to have a piece of history and I'm keeping these in my collection very dope pickup in my opinion number five officially is going to the Converse 2 all-star I know not a super hyped kick or anything but honestly I'm a huge Converse all-star fan and growing up on these things for them to now change the uh, the insole I mean it feels so comfortable it's like walking on two fluffy pancakes so big shout outs to Converse next you can see these Jordan 3 beaters that I picked up they were completely beat to hell missile cracking paint flaws uh, elephant print was missing and then I just restored them it took a really long time but I picked these up originally for $35 Canadian super steel in my opinion I had to double up on these and uh, man I bought these from from hell the depths of hell back to earth uh, they are still kind of beat but great everyday beaters for me Jordan 3 cements Next, uh, these are important in my number three pick, the Jordan 11 7210. Uh, your boy can barely get to McDonald's in time uh, to catch the breakfast. So to win this as my first raffle uh, win ever was a big deal to me. Um, again, classic silhouette. The Jordan 11 is insane. Uh, for me, I mean, this is a dope shoe. And uh, you pretty much have to cop every 11 that comes out every year. So this is a, it's going to be a soon to be classic and the materials are crazy. So definitely have to throw these into the number three slot. Next up, if you saw my video earlier this morning, it's crazy how I got these literally today, but the What the KD6, I've been wanting these for like over a year now, man. Never could get them at the right price, and uh, you know, it looks like someone guzzled a, a paint can and, and threw up on a shoe, but I think they look dope. They're really, really crazy. You get a ton of compliments, I'm assuming, so um, shout out to Johan for hooking me up at a good price, the What the KD6 number two. And lastly, of course, you guessed it, the Yeezy 750 Boost. Again, I won a raffle like a week after uh, the Jordan 11. This is my second raffle I've ever won, and of course, a huge one. Um, man, I, I don't actually own these anymore. I have to sell them. I mean, who who can pass down the resale price? I mean, I could use the cash. Uh, sold these for 2 k But, um, I mean, when I had them, crazy shoe. Blessed to even get them in the first place. And uh, great materials on these things. Just a little too hyped, obviously, in my opinion. Certainly a shoe that, you know, people love. And uh, I'm really happy to have had them. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Really appreciate you guys supporting me all throughout 2015. It's been a huge year for me with a lot of new developments, and I'm really hoping to just keep it going in 2016 and really try to build this channel and my brand, and I can't do it without you guys. So I really, really appreciate it. Again, at 20K subs, you're gonna see the full face. I'm gonna do a face reveal. So if you're not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button. Please hit me with a thumbs up. It really goes a long way and shows me that you appreciate some of the videos that I make. Making. Again, thank you to everyone that's been watching me in 2015. I mean, again, I wouldn't be here without you guys. So please have a really safe night if you're watching this on New Year's Eve. And I wish you all the best in 2016. Keep it locked on this channel. I'm your dude. He's signing out. Peace.